clearly, Isabel, something is going on that is more uh, involved than just the bricks versus clicks debate. You know, what we want from a shopping experience is clearly changing. The consumer group, which recently praised brands like John Lewis specifically for their in-store experience. And, and it seems that we've, we've, we've also had a sharp rise in men taking advantage of things like personal shopping consultations. Here at this store uh, in the UK, uh, 40% of all bookings for things like personal shopping are now done by men. So this idea of shopping habits neatly following gender lines appears to be somewhat of an outdated concept. And with 97% of customers that go in for things like that, then going on to spend big in store, clearly it makes commercial sense too. Okay, for Guy, from retail therapy now to TV therapy, uh, how will Apple's new streaming service differ from what's offered by um, Amazon and Netflix? Yes, well, they've suffered a bit, Apple, recently with this slowdown in mobile devices. So this diversification is really, really important for them. Now, the new service, just like Netflix and Amazon Prime Video, will develop original and exclusive TV and movie content. They've already signed, for example, a multi-year deal with Oprah. They do differ, though, from Netflix in that they're rumoured to be actively seeking to create bundled subscriptions with companies like HBO. It has to say that, it has to be said that the overall plan isn't crystal clear, but the demand for this type of service in general does look like a pretty reliable global trend showing no signs of slowing. OK, well, let's look at Germany now because business confidence is up. Why is that? Isabel, it's somewhat unexpected, I think that's fair to say. Um, it's the first rise in corporate optimism in seven months. The data from the IFO Institute has already had a positive impact on both stocks and the bond market. A recent endless stream of disappointing data has clearly been influenced by Brexit worries, trade disputes, car emission scandals, but the basics of the German economy remain in reasonably good health. The big test for Europe's biggest economy, of course, though, comes in how it deals with the ongoing soap opera of Brexit. And that, I'm afraid, is still very much anybody's guess. Well, Guy's shown for us there in London. Thanks so much.